he who lives in the world and performs his duties as a householder. Many wise men tried to answer, but when asked for proof, they had none. The king would punish the sannyasis who failed to prove their point. At last came to his court a sannyasi who with serene boldness said, O oh, king, I am here to answer your question. Silence spread through the court, everyone eager to know the answer. The king was stunned, but upon coming back to his senses, he said, O oh, sage, do you know my condition? If you fail to prove, you will be punished. I am aware, was the monk's curt reply. The king repeated the question, to which the monk said, O oh, king, each is equally great in their own place. Upon demanding proof, the king was asked to live with the sannyasi for a few days. The king consented and they walked through many countries together until they came to a crowd of people clamoring around a woman who was announcing the swayamvar of the country's princess. They went to attend the event. As the princess walked around the court, none of the prince caught her eye until she saw a handsome young sannyasi who seemed to be the human avatar of the sun god himself. She immediately threw the flower garland round his neck. What nonsense is this? He exclaimed in disbelief. Can't you see I'm a sannyasi? I have no interest in marriage. With that, he ran off into the woods, followed by the heartbroken princess. She ran and ran, but soon lost track of him in the moonlit forest. Our, our sannyasi and the king had followed the pair, fearing this very outcome. They comforted the princess and suggested that they rest beneath the last tree for the night and find their way out in the morning. The tree they sat under was the home of a family of sparrows. The little sparrow said to his wife, My dear, we have some guests and, it, and it's winter. We must give them some fire. So they collected twigs, added fuel and made a blazing fire. But they were still not satisfied as they had nothing to feed the guests. The little bird made a great decision and jumped into the fire before the sannyasi or his companions could stop him. Seeing as one little bird is not enough food for three people, the wife and kids of the bird also jumped into the fire. The sannyasi said to the king, O oh king, you got the answer to your question. You have seen that each is great in their own position. If you want to be a householder, be like those birds and hold yourself as sacrifice for the welfare of others. And if you want to be a sannyasi, be like a young sannyasi and do not even look at money and power. The moral of the story is, each is great in their own place. The duty of one is not the duty of another.